The true story of Kaspar Hauser. It was a cold and dark evening in the north of Sweden where I happened to study uh, for a period in my life that I woke up, turned on the TV because I couldn't fall back to sleep and I saw this strange and mysterious German movie taking place on the screen. The scene portrayed a simple man standing totally still with a plea to the mayor, a small piece of paper in his hand on a town square. The movie really made an impression on me, but I never got the name of the movie or the name of the mystical person it portrayed. And for the coming years, I thought about the movie from time to time, but it took 15 years until I found out the name uh, of the movie and that it actually was a real legend and a real person that it was portraying. When I realized it was based on a true story, I decided to read up on it and I picked up this book, The True Story of Kaspar Hauser. Hi and welcome to the book lab, I'm Björn and today we're going into really niche territory as we discuss the true story of Kaspar Hauser. Kaspar Hauser was a German youth who claimed that he was brought up in total isolation, inside a cage, in total darkness. Quote, he could see in the dark as well as by day, but could not endure the light of the sun. His sense of smell was extraordinary. He also claimed to have magnetic qualities. Quote, iron attracted him. He declared that in riding, the iron in the saddle kept him in his seat while his feet were held fast by the stirrups. Silver spurs acted more powerfully than brass ones, and the use of a silver spoon brought on such violent tremblings that he was scarcely able to raise it to his mouth. Throughout his life, Kaspar Hauser was taken care of by different people, people with scientific interest, or who are just eh, well off and curious about this mystical character. I mean, this guy, he walked like he was an a small toddler, he couldn't speak. Everything he said was related to horses of some kind. He didn't know who had left him here. This was an enigma. Kaspar Hauser was stabbed to death, most likely by himself. And this might sound weird, but he had previously used self-harm in order to get out of sticky situations. Common theory is that he did this to fake an assassination in order to be moved into the care of another protector. Many argued, understandably, that Kaspar Hauser was a fraud both during his life and after it, but in a bored upper class society, there's a lot of willing to believe in the magical and mystical, and of course people were fascinated by this guy. The most interesting aspect of this book is to speculate if Kaspar Hauser just was a sociopath and a narcissist or if there's any truth to his background story of growing up in isolation and if that environment caused him to act the way he acted. It is stories like these, like the story of Kaspar Hauser that kindles a childlike wonder in me and encourages me to keep on learning and exploring. It's just fascinating. But the book is a bit dry at times. At the end, it's more of a rant actually criticizing other writings about the case. Um, it's written in 1897, 1893, I'm sorry. And I usually recommend books on this channel, but in this case, if this sounds interesting, I would have you prioritize the movie. It's really exceptional, while this book is maybe a three out of five. But if you're a little big fan of the Caspar Hauser legend, then check this one out, it's a quick read. Before I end this video, I want to recommend another book on the topic of isolation that really stood out to me that I think was super interesting. But before that, press the subscribe button, like, share. It helps me reach more people with great books. And that book is The Stranger in the Wood. It's about Christopher Knight who spent a quarter of a century out in the forest. One day, just, he just walked out in the wood and lived there without lighting a fire and that this is in Maine mind you it's very cold there and he spent 30 like 30 years in the forest and this book tells his story uh, it's one of the great books and I have a full review up on that if you follow uh, the link in the description you can see that another upcoming review I have this is a book that many people have urged me to read for a long time it's The Alchemist I finally started it uh, it's a fable, 
about following your dreams. I will have a review up on that very soon. And actually, I was a bit skeptical about this one. Uh, I know it's very popular and it's easy to be resistant to very popular books, but I think it's a book that found me at the right time. I have so many uh, notes in this one and I would like to share my takeaways in the coming weeks. But until then, Björn out. Happy reading.